Good morning, folks. Sorry I'm late. If you have clear skies tomorrow morning, I suggest you see a beautiful conjunction of Jupiter and the Moon. The Moon and the planets have been visible well into the daytime lately, and if you haven't seen Venus, it is so big in the morning sky and looks especially beautiful resting atop blue and yellow pre-sunrise. On to today's top stories. First, Isaac could not put a dent in the worst drought the U.S. has seen in decades. New Zealand environmental officials are on oil spill alert after two ships sank on the Southland East Coast, and multiple earthquakes in China this morning have caused damage and death. We'll have updates tomorrow. Speaking of quakes, is there anyone in Minnesota that can verify a five-pointer hit there yesterday? There was a 4.8 reported in Baffin Islands, Canada, which is more than unusual. We also had a tremor north of Iceland. This morning saw three interesting southern hemisphere quakes, all unusual and noteworthy, and a 4.2 struck California a few minutes ago. What? The sun moderates planetary climate? <laughs> Seriously though, good read on Mars here. This is solid evidence for how minute changes have drastic effects, and maintaining awareness of fracking risks is something I think we need more of. Quick look at the Atlantic. Top right is Michael, in the middle of nowhere. Leslie down slightly left, headed for Bermuda, and Isaac Remnants trying to regroup in the Gulf. The storm over the central U.S. is expected to bring widespread severe weather today. Check Torcon and radars around dinner time. Solar flares have quieted down a bit from yesterday. Looking at the magnetogram, we have a big complex region down here, but she's turning away from Earth. Just east of her is another region we can't quite forget yet, and we have a new one up north. Solar wind is quiet, density is under 10 protons per cubic centimeter, and speed is near or below 400 kilometers per second. I'll leave you with the last 24 hours of the sun, no earth-facing CMEs or filament eruptions. You can see the active regions brightly here and the coronal holes darkened. We could see a strong solar wind stream from one of them tonight. That's the news, folks. Be safe.